Yo, hello there, my delicious friends. It's more Final Fantasy 16. We've done a whole load of backstory stuff involving Mid in order to build some stuff for his ship. It was a little bit tedious. It did have some really good character conversation moments. But now we're getting back into the main game. Lovely to have you. Sid, I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. So Hugo just... Kuka is gone. Reading your chat. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Joshua is working hard enough. We don't need to put more burden on him. has a beginning and an end. So before recording, we were just talking about before fireworks we while we have the chance. and people being idiots. People around me are morons. One guy burned down his burned his eyebrows off. But as free men, he was checking the fuel in his generator with a lit match. May we join you? Everyone's come to pay their respects to my boy Sid. Lady Karen. Bless a surprise. He had picks on OnlyFans. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. Joshua is a lazy bum. He doesn't do enough, if you ask me. Joshua is literally building an alliance with Bahumat, and he's made himself a vessel to help contain Ultima. What else do you want, Kid Ludens? He's literally dying and traveling the world for my cause, working from the shadows. I get to be the leader of an entire community. I have people patting me on the back all day long, telling wasn't me I'm great. A scenic view back then. Joshua doesn't have that. But it were never as bad as this. I know. The blind march is on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone and their thirst for ether with them. This is wild. I'm sorry to pause this, but look at this screen. If you, and underneath me is Jill as well, being gorgeous. If I told you that I'm playing a Final Fantasy game that you've never seen before, and I showed you this screenshot, would you not believe that these were my party characters? You'd be like, oh, cool. You've got this person, that guy, this dog, that big guy, that old lady, that emo dude. You've got a, you know, a bright and varied character roster in a Final Fantasy game. And it's just like, no, it's a one player hack and slash. <laughs> so what? The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. Joshua is literally building the empire <laughs> these days. Wow! I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Hey, Eva. How you doing, Camillianus? Not that that'll stop you, but we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. Oh, you like Granny, do you, Tim? <laughs> Good. Oh, I am sorry. You like Have you forgotten foxes? you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. 
Oh. <laughs> you letting me go with them? Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Oh, she's so, so grumpy. You break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. Because literally, it's managed by the merchants. Oh, you just show them Goots's traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goot. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things, and I'll meet you there. Good lad. See you down in Bucklad. Get off, me poor fingers. <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav. Already on my way, Captain. It really is so rare to see all Be of them careful. together in a cutscene. Aren't I always? Oh, please don't die. Don't walk off. Okay, that that's just that has just filled me with d deep concern. That was really casual. It only lasted a few moments, but the last lingering shot of Gav just then was the back of his head. And if any of you have ever watched any anime ever, if you start watching a new season with a new intro titles and all your characters are leaping onto the screen starting a new adventure, and then one of your favorite characters is kind of silhouetted by a sunset, and you only see him from the back, and you're just like, ah! <laughs> We had a really good cutscene with Gav the other day where we actually took a bit of time out from being underground slave savers and actually took a moment to just be people in front of each other. I'm really concerned that's our last interaction. That just set off all my alarm bells. There was probably more cutscene, but I just skipped it just then. Sorry. Anyway, we know what we're doing. We're sneaking into uh, Letney's Cleft. <laughs> Careful. Family stream. He doesn't have that Daijobu smile in the interest. Smiling into the sunset. Like they're no longer burdened by the concerns of the living. Have you seen I've got a cheat code in another world? No. Should I add it to the list? Whisper it to Ayatollah and he'll DM me on Twitter. <laughs> Onward. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Taya. I'm glad to hear it. And Toggle helped too. The new boy. Oh. Okay, let's see what the world is going to offer us. Oh, it's a little way down there, but it's closed. I'm never telling you about anime ever again, but do watch Zom 100. Oh, okay, Zom 100. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Oh, good point. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass. Let's use a trade animal. Official traffic there. Leaving this one for those living outside. Oh, look at a view! Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. So, this is not the Oasis Town we are in last time. This is, like, a bit more abandoned. But it's pretty cool that, like, we're just in a slightly different region of the desert. We've gone into the Rocky Canyon area. This isn't... This isn't the cool part of the Grand Canyon. This is the red part that's on the Indian, Indian Territory that they try to get all the tourists to go to, but it's it's not the really good bit. <laughs> Time to fight. I'm only here for the pickup. Oh, did you collect it? Sweet. Hello, guys. So what do you think? I'm only going to talk to these guys because so their side questy alive. vibe is literally en route. Can I? I have to dismount to talk to them, Safe. don't I? We're not going to do their side quest unless it literally happens to be in the direction I'm going, which is just why we'll give it a quick log. Cell swords. Really? It's as bad as that. Oh, why? There's trouble up ahead. 
and too much of it for us to handle. Mike will enjoy the I NTR part. Danger on the road. I'm not an NTR artist. Oh, I just make NTR hentai sometimes. Fellow. You think he'd be equal to the task? Honestly, all the people no doubt. who are just like, ooh, don't make NTR. To hear us out. Those people who tell me what I can't well, do, friend. they are never the people my who actually I pay on my Patreon or sub to me for anything. So I'm always just like, oh, thanks for telling me what I can't do. But seeing as like you don't actually support cards. any of our oh, great, I really don't coward. fucking care. You're not my audience. When he thought goblins might come a snarling, he ran, leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker, but I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation... Oh, Matty, really? ...bastards are lying in wait just down the road. More white lies, We huh? may have seen our share of action, true, but we've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. Mushoku Tensei. You, however, Mushoku Tensei. A man who needn't fear. Isn't that the final attack ruffians. from Pain in Naruto Shippuden? What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances it looks are like a giant gravity ball that sucks way. up the village. But if you promise to lend us a hand, oh, that wasn't for me. Oh, a reward for your troubles. Oh, okay. You don't like anime. <sighs> well, if I'm going to have to deal with them anyway. What's that in the Came background? A fine head on those broad Can you see over my shoulder? Those plants yeah, are still coming for me. Along. Now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Boklad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. All right. Just don't expect me oh, to drive the cart to get out some of there tea. myself. Good girl. Nope, nope. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and <clears> point <throat> us in the right direction. Oh, it's got contraband. Dad, we'll take care of the rest. These may not be good people. They might be smugglers. Okay, well, we've logged it for later, but I don't care. Oh, wow! Did she just do a time space shift? She just warped out sure of pure nothing. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care of them. My thoughts exactly. Oh, here we go. Look lively, you lot. Mm. Oh, there's a whole there's a whole thing going on with a big dude. Must be our bandits. characters with you but they hang back right past the camera and you genuinely think you're running around alone for ages and in battle they offer non-command support so they are vibing and doing stuff you can't tell them anything if i had to guess um where the next final fantasy game would go i wouldn't be surprised if they did a final fantasy 16 2 assuming that everyone's alive by the end of this game i've got no idea how it ends um 
where it's a very similar system, but they just them. add a little bit of those no. third-party commands you can get that in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Maybe, just to give them a little bit of focus. Maybe just like really simple stuff with a D-pad. I need some new drip. I do. I'm actually sick of this outfit. Like, I think it stood out a bit too much back in the day. I think it was a bit too Final Fantasy XIV in a game that's a bit darker. Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single yeah. bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. We should make an Advent Children movie. How exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. You've done your Miles, part. I think it was brilliant. And that's all you it need. It was to quite worry a lot about. to think about at some times. Yes. Like quite a lot to manage. But in terms of how do they update a turn based system it's and a, a party based combat system off. into a hack and slash? There's no need to be so rude, brother. So I think seven remake did really, really what well if mechanically. We want his help again next time. I just noticed that uh, you're an edgelord in black and the main girl in white has a rapier. Don't say it, I know what you're thinking. Don't put it in that universe. Are you... Are you guys talking about... Are you guys talking about an anime where the dude's stuck in a video game? And it's really edgy, but it's actually shitly written. <laughs> you will not say it! You will, we will not say that here! Not in this space. Not in this space. Fetch. Oh my god, if at the very end of Final Fantasy 16, you fight the final boss and it goes, well done, you can finally log out. And it just cuts and Clive, and it cuts back to 13 year old Clive. And he just pulls off his goggles and he's just in a flat in Tokyo. A <laughs> uh, quick look around for any chests. Oh, what I thought was a very accessible area of rubble is in fact just a corridor. Okay, God bless and acquiesce. Let's continue to get out of here. That happens on shit. Faster. The late story arcs go hard. I see the Dalmex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. Uh, okay, Path cool. continues on the other side. Oh. I didn't notice these. Uh, oh, go on. I'm going to have a really quick go. I like to do one of each enemy on a map. Uh, this mounting's just like a bit of a painter. Mate, get countered. I swear, Jill. You were also involved. Ambrosia won't help me here. But she won't. I don't acknowledge that. It's a Japanese anime. It's written by AI. Uh, I I remember watching it for like uh, this is years ago. This is very old knowledge for me. But I I I gave it a go for five episodes or something, and it was literally just like utterly unlikable main character is utterly overpowered, and then everybody hangs out with kind of dies or he leaves the group and joins another group because the first group was too boring for him. It was just like, there is nothing to latch onto in this anime other than it's pretty. The final sin. The final sin. So this is a Mechas. This is a Final Fantasy X the sequel. Land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long this used ago, to be Besaid. Man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bit to win their power. 
The final battle took place here. At these falls. Hi, Toller. Or so the legend goes. So yeah, everybody who's a dominant if is made sick by the Acorn. Steps, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. Clive is not a dominant. That the gods emerged victorious. Clive has been... Had like he's had the blessing man of the phoenix, his defiance, where so that he can draw power. Visiting upon him, and he's essentially stolen curses. the blessings of every other acorn he's come across via the dominant host. Dominance in bearers. To tell the truth. So I my relationship with Ifrit, the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse, is unique. Back home, the dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted. Because I Once am a burnt. vessel. Ultima. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd missed. To some degree, has manipulated me. You had a lot of storybooks. To become you? a vessel to absorb all the In dominant powers, so that I become the kind of host that he can then the old legends claim. Were always my favorites. And through me, become Epic all powerful. Battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. So my uniqueness. He thought it good for my education. Although it seems cool. You really were a boy like him. Might well be a blessing of Ultima and in fact a double-edged sword. And that's why Just look at this place. Ultima doesn't like that I'm here for it. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. Twenty minutes of dialogue, three minutes of action. It's a great series. And did we mention the main character is an edgy person? I'm like, yeah, you've lost me. The yeah. Be busier up ahead. SAO is clearly not written for somebody like me. About us? It was a big twist that made it pointless. Niagara Falls in the desert. Can I delight? Five. Double edged sword out online. Get out. Nothing. It's nothing. So this is the site where man's hubris made him challenge the gods. In Malazan Book of the Fallen, seven great mystics come together and they draw in a god from another dimension and then chain him into their reality to draw his power. Seriously, folks. I see the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. Yeah, why? I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrek. He must be a dominant then. Which one did he inherit? How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. He's basically like, have you seen how hot his mum is? She will not the stop riding. Seek to build. She wants Need to be empress, she's empress. Blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. Tim, yeah. There is other news. Can't be as bad as fake taxi. Hugo Kupka is no, dead. No, because fake Drake's taxi writes off their taxi destroyed. fare. The pillars of the Republic well, have fallen. Oh, it's going to be 50 pounds to get you all the way to Mayfair. I'll tell you what. Long, Seems your first time in the country, lad. I'll do you a little deal. Every city in storm. That's win-win. There's nothing creepy about fake and taxi. Valisthea. <laughs> all shall bow before their emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh. Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. I love that, like, I destroyed their mother crystal, and nobody's ever really talked about Father. it. 
I've literally iconically destroyed an actual I find you landmark changed. and source of power. And they just they just rolled with it so quickly. The path They're like, okay, gone. Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps. Yes, he's been talking to my boy Joshua. What nonsense is this? I speak my mind. And my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Sexy Bella Rosfield. Regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. Yeah, Miles, she's a really nasty person, but she's so hot. You will trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! Canker! You saw. You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire. Forgive me. Hey, this Toby. audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. No, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. Oh, I've been glass ceiling. Do you know of my blood? That painting. You know, oh, look at that! that painting in the background. We've never had. We've never panned up to the top. What do you want to bet? That painting on that background mural is a copy of all the ones we've been finding on the walls of the temples. Like towards the later part of the game, the, the camera's going to scroll up, the north. and we're going to see the same the weird demon thing. Kill the whore! <laughs> kill her! Kill her! No, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. We have to forgive her, okay? She's too pretty. Ready, go. Too young to... What's that, what does that song go? Too young to die, yet too old to survive. Faster. I'm in the prime of my life. Bomb, 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 bomb. Too nasty to forgive, too hot to ignore. Be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure so he do everything in his power to hold on to Twin's side. His troops are well trained. Oh, I'm still talking. Dude, not now. Twenty nine K damage. All right, not bad. He took damage. I've never really seen that happen before. Okay. 
Oh, it's a trader over there. Kill for... Look, you've, you've had to permit kill for whore. <laughs> you had to add that to terms. Kill for whore. Kill for whore. Mate, too terrible to forgive, too pretty to ignore. Kill for whore, kill for whore, kill for whore, kill for whore. Welcome to Mikey Mega Mega's toxic masculinity live stream, where we hate all women and think all men are cool. All right. Edit over to the crystalline dominion Which too, is literally the difference between John Wick it's 3 and John Wick 4. Better. Believe you me. Yeah. No, I think it's really cool to have interesting characters in films. Like Just not when they're women. Boots on. Love an interesting so character me. with mixed motivations who isn't necessarily good or bad. As long as they're not female. Oh, look at this. What do you think happened? Was it like a nuclear bomb kind of vibe or some kind of giant laser beam kind of attack? From the sky or from the earth? Did something drill down or did something blow up? Mikey, you're playing a dangerous game right now. No, but I'm joking. I'm obviously joking. Good. I'm being ironic. <laughs> obviously, I value women greatly. Like a commodity. No, no, no. As human beings. Just another day for Mikey. Yeah, there's something shiny over here. Oh, there's some weird knacks. Thanks, girl. He says Titan's name really loudly, but not when I turn into anything else. He only cares when it's cool. More refugees. And they're all making for the crystalline dominion. Because they don't. I'm sorry that movie couldn't be Ghostbusters 2016, blessing. Mikey. See, there's the difference. Ghostbusters 2016 was genuinely fucking awful. Had nothing to do with them being women. One of my favourite science fiction movies of all time has an all-woman cast, Annihilation. Good girl. Yeah. Oh, you're a natural camp. I can walk from here. Hmm. There are no crystal rats. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? No crystals. That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. How can I hear from over there? The finished by now. That's that then. Order for hire. The best service at the best price. What do you think, girl? Oh, they do have a crystal well. Okay. Is that just for the chocobos? Oh, and they've got Adobe housing. Mate, not as cheap as me. Some potions, good sir. Many thanks. Ooh. I wish to engage the Crimson Caravan services. Where's the proprietress? She's otherwise engaged at present. Oh, they've got good guards, huh? Oh, okay. So this is a proper little oasis trading port town. A little port? An oasis trading town. That also has a little bit of a refugee camp building up at the edge of it. Uh, they do have resources and stuff. If our rivals had brought any coin with them, we'd be rich. Get in. All right. Let's go to our objective. Films should be praised for technical achievements and being well written. Oh, because it had women. Out of my oh, you hate women, don't you, Miles? I understand. Wonders. 
orders from across the water. Come Tim, one, yeah. come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... I, uh, I I put it on for a little bit on a streaming service and then I skipped to the end where they were all How just doing for a individual battle scenes to a giant green we'll screen with nothing there. Not I was just like, I'm out. I watched, I honestly, I watched it for a bit where uh, um, Chris Hemsworth is like, mostly his scenes where he's talking about like having a dog called my cat or something. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. What? Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are to form a line and ready their documents for Yeah, so that's, that's for kind of inspection. the one thing about it, dude, it's which was interesting, is that it was a terrible movie uh, and a bad remake of a good property. Completely squandered, not funny, part. badly written, badly put together. You it's honestly got the feeling good, that on set every day, the director was just like, no, let's see what the ladies do. Let's see if they happen to say something funny. So they've just got all of this rambling, like, Saturday night lifestyle, semi-ab-lib, unfocused vibe to it. It's like, it's objectively bad, but it utterly got into this really muddy pool where other people were jumping on the bandwagon and disliking it because it was just women. And so other people were defending the movie and saying that anybody who didn't like it just hated women. And that's why it was failing. Where it was independently, legitimately terrible, but caught up in this other separate dialogue. Yeah, it was a really weird time. Mom, taste my peaches! <laughs> yeah. peaches Are you over 18? I can't buy anything. Look at all that colourful fruit, though. I actually need a Wii. I'm going to go for a really quick Wii. I'll be right back. One quick sec. So it's cider kicking in. A really random example of it is that, like, uh, just making my film cram shorts, when you kind of make a bit of content for YouTube, it sort of gets shown to kind of like your like circles of similar interest. With the film cram shorts, when some of those go viral and like they turn into millions of views, the audience that ends up seeing it is a really, really wide YouTube audience. And uh, if you have a look at the comments of those, it means that like you're actually getting like a lot of people's opinions in the comment section about the films and the characters that you wouldn't usually see because now you're just seeing like the everyman's opinion, not just like closed film circles in their like audience target groups. And uh, I'm no feminist, like I love women, um, but I, I, I don't think I understand what the word feminism really means to ever confidently say that I'm a part of it. But I'm very much pro equality and all that sort of shit. And genuinely, you can start to read it in the overall, f on the really viral videos where anyone comes in with an opinion you start to notice there is a genuine anti-woman sentiment uh, in a lot of the action movie genre of uh, guys watching. It's it's really fascinating. Oh, good. Like a lot of people just are. genuinely hate female I, characters. I, I'm so sorry. Unless they're Don't like hotties to get fucked. Slow down, good. An interesting tell us what female happened. character, or even a female character it's that's designed to not be liked. Gone. Designed to be we obnoxious and a bad guy or an antagonist. We won't even be able to get through the they won't even point. accept that. They will actually just hate the character and the person playing the character. Like, in pocket a hate ago, the actress. A bumped into me and... But if a guy is an antagonist character, they love it. They might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? Fucking hate pickpockets and thieves. I've got a pal in Do you want to get your pocket brand? picked? Go to Italy. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans up that way. Sign's got a red chocobo on it. Oh, we were just there. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff. Make sure <laughs> no one else is missing. She's like in her twenties. We'll meet you there. 
Peaches, peaches, peaches. You can't buy NPC for you can't buy fruit from an NPC of questionable age. Big L on the game. Oh, excuse me, her age is not questionable. The only reason why I said I hope you're over 18 is because the sound of her voice dialogue sounded really, really young. That sounds like an actual child. But look, we're looking at an adult. Look at that. It's just the voice dialogue. I basically, I didn't want to make any funny peaches comments until I turned around and looked at who'd said it. Look at all this reflective silver. It's so shiny. Look, she's keeping an eye on me. She doesn't trust me. She thinks I'm the pickpocket. Juicy pears. Caravan stops next to the check. I heard he quit due to the hate he received. People couldn't separate the character from the person. Have you heard of a young man named Joffrey? Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm not saying it's uh, uniquely to women, but it is very, very skewed at women. Out of my sight, wretch. Yeah, good for the Joffrey actor. He was like, "Fuck this." Looking to hire a coach. It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Ten million! Oh, wait! Just don't go, El. He's been made. As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Boklad? Feminism is not an equality or equity movement. It's a women's advocacy movement. <laughs> So Miles, I don't. I gather Lady Karen this is why I try to be very careful around that. I'm, I'm all love, but I don't really understand what that means. I don't understand the difference. I'm sure I would if I looked so into it, but I've, I've never really. Into this time? I've never really had to personally uh, fight for feminist us. rights. Do you know what I mean? It got stolen by a little burn. Of all the, you're the size of a marble. Honestly. Ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little band could have done this? I'm sure there are women who feel the same the about males in movies. My point is that it's just a natural human thing that's bound to show up when you have enough. So this is thinking loops, like, it shows because, like, I start to see a wide enough metric I of see. people to see so that neither habit. neither of you has a trader's pass either. Yeah, and it might just be that some people have got those opinions are more <laughs> vocal about it in YouTube traders, comments versus the latter. I suppose that's why you came to me. Correct? So I, I have to be skeptical now, of my input base sure of people, right? Pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. But it's totally there. And, and like... What like these these are comments from absolute fucking morons, by the way. Like actual just children and morons. Ever since the fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. Oh. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity. Oh. Leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners. And yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back. And we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all. And two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? She's literally they saying, please do my job for me. Because it will benefit both <laughs> of us. That, uh, I don't know. Try swimming across the strait. But, 
But the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? Yeah, Ayatollah, a fist so either we find is a military term for a, a, a commander of a, an army or a regiment. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah. But I don't know your name. But it's like, it's Eloise old language. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. You've accepted the crimson collar from the Eloise. The proprietor of the furniture hmm. makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that and he will know you for a friend. It's really interesting. Every you location you go first. to in each chapter of the, the game, furniture makers. you end up wearing a mark that shows you of being a part of a certain group. She looks like Ada Wong. Uh, she looks like short-haired cosplay Siri. Is it Siri? No, who's the other one? From Witcher. Are you the furniture maker? Yennefer. Looking for something in particular? Short-haired Yennefer. Ah, and Louise collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. I do, I mean, this is like beautifully put together, this little area. These big shiny bronze plates. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. You should come with me to the Dominion. Is that sizzling food Fish I hear? Sale, fresh sorted and smoked. I'm pretty Can sure we, you... we've seen this character model before. Sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? Different She's outfit, same face. To help you find the pickpockets is that so suppose i better tell you what i know then for one there's two things the we like in this operation. game it's queen bitch and peaches well, the lady say the children who stole their passes were dirty dressed in rags street urchins by the sound of it we get a lot around here orphans from the wars a few perhaps you saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway they're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. Oh, those poor kids. Shame of it. Whoever's <clears throat> behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. Alright then, questioning children. How hard can that be? Oh, look at this. Life will be different there. Sizzling meat. Hey, boy. You won't find anything of this quality in twin size. I really want a sizzling chicken skewer right now. Do you have a moment? I've got buttered chicken downstairs. I've got a microwave what meal. What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I've got an Indian. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. What I'll do is I'll put on some rice. What's at the end of this episode? Do you get paid for it? No. <laughs> What's picking pockets? So if they come calling, what's a book? You know what to tell them. No, I ain't, be, I ain't been picking no pockets, sir. What, what's picking pockets, then? I've never heard of such a thing. What's picking Caravan pockets? Stops next to the that's a type of dance. Uh, excuse me. What do you want? I, I I don't have any money. 
It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he he said he got a job. Do you want to know, Kite? So I'm all right with it. I, uh... Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. There are games where I expect that, and there are games where I don't. He's usually by the tents outside town. Horizon Zero Dawn made a big deal Very about helpful. their faces and their actors in all their little dialogue moments. You know what I mean? Like, whenever you went to talk to somebody in Horizon Zero Dawn, the camera would change into, like, F1.1 or something. So the background's really hard and blurry, and you've got, like, super facial details kicking in so that the engine can animate it. And that was all part of its vibe. But uh, this kind of, like, one-player hack-and-slash version of Final Fantasy XIV, that's never been its focus. Come on, come on. Have some naan. I don't shit, I don't have any naan. If I start ordering a naan bread from around the corner, I might as well just order an entire dinner. Rich, I'm, I, can, I can do that. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. I've just got my food shopping in. She must have been the refugee camp. Let's hope he's still nearby. Daddy, I'm hungry. Yeah, and I'm broke. Enough of your whining. Oh dear, that kid's gonna be... Daddy's not turning up tomorrow. That kid's gonna be another thief urchin in a minute. Is that a cypress <laughs> tree? That big fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed if we brought Picking his pocket. boots Is that a French, French dish? <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Matty, just a microwave meal. But I've got some buttered chicken in the freezer downstairs. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. You said this now? is a good game, correct? Perhaps Would you say it's a good fit in the franchise and not a Final Fantasy title? Characters. Shit, we're in trouble now. What do we do? I would, Ayatollah. You should get caught if you want. I'm off. Because it's very Lisa, easy to forget that... There are lots so of Final Fantasy right. games that do sure. weird shit, but doesn't feel like the it. last Final Fantasy right. game. And it's very easy to have your favorite memories of playing a couple Final Fantasies, and that becomes your bedrock of what is a Final Fantasy game. Do. And then everything else is somehow like a deviation from that. And it's like, well, that's not really the case. Pretty much every Final Fantasy game has been an exploration of something new whilst reworking familiar themes. And it's just that, because the combat mechanic is a one-player hack and slash, literally just because it's very one-player orientated, and I'm not able to give even the slightest command to another party member, in what is quite often a party member heavy video game, that is just another minor change. The only thing that makes it so predominant is that you are spending half of this video game in battle. Um. So it's just one change in a Final Fantasy game that happens to be a change you notice a lot more than some of the others. But um, when you get stuff like, oh, this really doesn't feel like a Final Fantasy game, it's just like, dude, there are lots of Final Fantasy games that don't feel like a Final Fantasy game because you have picked one or two of them specifically to decide that's the base standard. Final Fantasy VII isn't like any other Final Fantasy game. When Final Fantasy VII came out, it was like, what the fuck is this? This is completely off the charts of what is a Final Fantasy game. Final Fantasy VIII came out. What the hell are these mechanics and junction system? This isn't a Final Fantasy game. There's someone who says that shit every year. Except for Final Fantasy IX, because it's a really brilliant game and a love letter to all the classics. But other than Final Fantasy IX... Uh, guys, let's find out what's going on with missing orphan children and the bad people who are doing fake passes and creating an economy that's stopping trade and my personal freedom of movement in the next episode. If you're watching on YouTube, YouTube. If you're chewing away on the YouTubes, click the playlist. I belong for the next one. Bye-bye.